This video is all about the Asun A1S and why I really like this gimbal. So a little while ago, I did a review on the original Asun A1, which is a very similar gimbal. However, this one is different because it has the slant design and also it just functions a little bit better as a whole. So the gimbal itself is super smooth. It gets awesome shots. I mean, I really enjoy using it and it's been my go-to gimbal for all of my shoots since I've had it. And the reason that this is my go-to gimbal is that it's quick to set up, it's quick to balance, and I click a few buttons and I can get the footage that I need without having to hassle with an app. Now they definitely do have an app and I'll go into that in a little bit and I'll show you what functions you have in the app. But when you're just working with a gimbal, you don't want a piece of gear that's gonna be taking a ton of time to set up. You don't want a piece of gear that's gonna be a hassle to work with. You want something where you can pop your camera on, make sure that it's balanced, and then start getting some awesome smooth footage. You don't want to always be fumbling with gear. That's the reason why I like the Asun A1S. Obviously the slant design really makes it awesome when you're shooting so you can see your screen no matter what camera you're shooting on. However, the fact that it's quick to set up and easy to use, I always just carry it with me. And it's not massive, but it carries heavy cameras. You could shoot up to a RED on this gimbal if you really wanted to, or you could shoot all the way down to like an iPhone. So this gimbal covers a wide range of cameras. You can shoot pretty much anything that you want on this gimbal, which is awesome. It has a heavy payload, but you don't have like a massive setup like you have with bigger gimbals. Now, before we get more into the gimbal itself, let me just show you a bunch of footage that I've shot on it. And all of this footage was shot at 30 frames per second or 60 frames a second, but none of it is slowed down because the best way to see gimbal footage is to see it at real time. If you're seeing gimbal footage slowed down, you're not gonna see if there's micro jitters, you're not gonna see if there's issues with the gimbal because the slow motion does cover it. So I shot everything at 30, everything at 60, and playing it back in real time so that you guys can really get a sense of how smooth this gimbal is. So beyond the footage that you just saw, I have used this gimbal a bunch for my professional clients, shooting a ton of projects. I can't necessarily show you guys that footage. However, I have a bunch of gimbals sitting around and I default to this one because I know the footage that I'm gonna get is good. So you might be asking, well, why am I not using the DJI Ronin or the Zhiyun Crane 2? Well, the reason is I don't necessarily need as big of a gimbal for all the shoots that I do. Now, there are times and place when I might want a focus control on my gimbal, but for a lot of these situations where I just am run and gun, I just need something that's quick and easy to set up, the Asun A1S is way better option because it's lighter and I don't need to necessarily deal with the extra gear of adding the gear wheels and worrying about focus. Instead of trying to use my gimbal to focus on my talent, I just make sure I use the proper distance, especially when I'm shooting longer lenses, so that I always keep my subject in focus. You might think it's crazy, but it's actually probably harder to look at a little screen and get your focus off that rather than just making sure you maintain distance. So if I'm using a bigger gimbal and I have a focus wheel on it, I want a monitor so I can actually see the focus. Well, with a monitor comes batteries, comes cables, comes everything else that adds onto the gimbal to make it bigger and heavier. And I don't necessarily always wanna have a big heavy gimbal. I want something that I can throw in my backpack. If you saw my review on the in-case backpack, that's the bag I normally take with me and the Asun just slips right in the front and I don't have to keep it on the outside of
side of the pack. I don't have to draw any attention to me. If I'm carrying camera gear, I can just run and gun, grab it out when I need it, and keep moving. So let's talk about some of the features about this gimbal. So first off, like I said, the slant design, that's huge, it allows you to see the screen better no matter what camera you're on. It comes with a tripod so that when you're balancing, you can just put this on the bottom and you also don't have to take this off when you're out shooting. The design of this one is that there's two buttons. There's your power button and then there is your mode button. And then above those is your thumb controller, which allows you to push your gimbal in the direction that you want it to go. So there's four modes that you just use using the mode button right on the gimbal itself. The first one is tilt locks. Basically, it allows you to pan, but when you tilt, your camera's not gonna move up or down. I actually use this one all the time. The second mode is your follow mode, which it follows in all directions, up, down, left, right. The third mode is lock mode, so it completely locks the gimbal and it's not gonna move. And then the fourth mode, which is kind of fun to play with here and there, is your roll mode. So when you put it in this, it allows you to roll left and right. So you get that really cool barrel roll look. Something that's just fun to use once in a while and you can get some cool shots with it. It has a 360 degree rotation, so you never have to worry about hitting your limit when you're moving around with this gimbal. One thing that I think is really cool is it has a slow shutdown function. So when you turn it off and if something became unbalanced, you're not gonna like drop the camera right away. It slowly shuts down so it's more of a gradual shutdown rather than just turning off and then out. You don't wanna damage your lens by it falling into the gimbal itself. Like I said, there's an app and the app is really cool so it allows you to do some auto tuning. It allows you to manual tune anything about the motors. So if you're someone who likes to work with the motors and figure out the settings that work best for you, you can really dial it in with the Asun A1S. Also in the app, you have a few other features. One is time-lapse and it allows you to keyframe your time-lapse so you can do multiple movements within your time-lapse and time them out however you want. Battery. Battery is super important with a gimbal because you don't want to be carrying a bunch of extra batteries. This is 15 hours of battery life. So basically, your entire day of shooting can be run off one set of batteries. You don't have to replace your batteries at all throughout the day. That's huge for me. It's something that I don't want to carry extra batteries with me. I want to know that my gimbal's going to work throughout my entire day no matter what it is that I'm doing. For photographers, there are a few functions to do some cool panoramics. So if you wanna get bigger panoramics with more resolution, there are options in the app that allow you to do this. My favorite thing about this gimbal though is that you don't have to have the app to be able to run the gimbal. And most of the time, I never use the app, only if I'm trying to do a time-lapse. And that's because when I pull this out of my bag, I put my camera on it, I do a few quick adjustments, it's balanced, I can start shooting and I can get it into one of my four modes within a few seconds. And that's the beauty of this gimbal. It just works and it works fast. So guys, I don't really have much more to tell you about it. This gimbal's awesome. It works really good. If you're looking for a gimbal and if you don't necessarily need a gear wheel to control the lens, the Asun is definitely your choice for a high-end gimbal working with bigger cameras. Now I completely understand if you want that ability to use the focus control, there are other gimbals out there. I hope that Asun releases their next version of this gimbal with a focus control because the smoothness is there. It just doesn't have as much functionality because you don't have that focus control. All right guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of awesome filmmaking tutorials and I do a bunch of camera reviews on this channel. Also, I have a creator film school that's nuts to bolts, everything that you need to know to be a full-time creator, make money doing it, all that good stuff. All right guys, that is it. I will see you on the next one.